Hello? Hey, Stolby here. Like I've been blessed with. to work with these world-class singers, you know. Elise, uh, Russell, uh -huh. Rob Rock, Kiske, Kiske Koti Pelto. Fuck, I mean, so it makes you really humble. Of course. You know. Yeah, it, it has to, man. But, you know, more importantly, and I think it's very important to highlight this, uh, you've been paramount and, uh, and very important, uh, and a very important influence uh, in the career of those musicians that you're talking about. I mean, Summit. Summit. I mean, we, we, when, when you look at Toby, you look at Tobias Summit, you look at the uh, uh, new generations of uh, Bruce Dickinson. He's yes. carrying the, the flag the and flag, the banner yeah. of, 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 uh, of us fans. It's a funny story because, you know, I met him in Cologne doing, doing press for episode. Right. And I had all day booked for interviews in a hotel. And the last, one, the last journalist was called Tobias Summit. So, <laughs> so I, the guy opens the door, this, he's this short. He's that short? He's fucking short. But he's got the presence of a he's mountain. Got, he's, he's a mountain. He's a mountain. He's a mountain. So he comes with a CD player and I'm like, okay. And it's the first thing he says, Timo, I'm not a journalist. Sorry, I had to book this inter interview just to play my music to you. <laughs> and so he played the first Ed Guy album for me. Wow. And I'm listening to it. I, I, like, I like the melodies, I like the attitude, but the sound is not there. Do you remember which, was it Savage Poetry, the Savage first, poetry. but the first edition, yes. the, the one that wasn't remastered, I guess, you know, obviously yeah. it was a long ass time ago, so it had to be the first edition. It's the first, right. Savage Poetry. So. Right, right, right. And what did you think about it? I loved the songs, but I hated production. Right. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. so it's I good writing. When he was young, he yeah. was a good writer, right? Yeah, yeah. I, and I could Im immediately see that this guy is a genius mm -hmm. because he had the attitude, you know, he had everything. So he had the guts to come to me with this CD player and play the song. And he said, I'm, I want you, I want you to produce Vainglory Opera. And, you know, they came to Helsinki with the tapes and, you know, I heard the tapes and I said, man, what did you do? <laughs> did you record in a bunker or, or <laughs> where? In the restroom. <laughs> where? Because the vocals were so shrilly, yeah. the drums were horrible and everything. So I said, okay, man, I want to play a couple of solos and I do everything I know about producing and mixing to this. And I did. So I don't really like the, the end result, but it's okay, you know. I think it was... More than that, the songs are great. The, the songs, songs are great. The songs are great. The people love them. Yes. The, the, the people love the songs. They love the album. Obviously, uh, I mean, the, the Ed guy is, is such an interesting topic to me because it's, it's like a ladder. It's yeah. like every 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 album was yes. larger. Yes. It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It's not necessarily that it was faster, yeah. but it was larger. You exactly. know what I mean? And uh, and I guess that was translated to having. Well, I was I was always telling him in Helsinki with with this Van Glory Opera thing. Like, right. What is Ed guy? I can. I will, he, uh, there's a, there's a story uh, on the internet about what Ed guy means. Uh, but what did he tell you? He said it's about Maiden. Eddie. It's about Maiden. Eddie. Ed. Guy. Ed Guy. Yes. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Like and, the Eddie guys. And these guys are from Fulda. From Fulda. Yeah, it's a fucking small city. Right, right, right. You know. And so I meet this guy and, you know, I mix the record. I play tambourine in Scarlet Rose. It's me. Really? Yeah, me. That's you? Yeah. Oh, man. I said, what a performance. I said, you have, <laughs> to, you have to have it. It's like Bon Jovi thing, you know. Right, right. And yeah, they yeah. were so happy about the mix because I put like a lot of reverb. I made it really big. I, I'm like that. I make everything big. It know? was. It was an. Um, it, it still is an amazing song. Scarlet Rose is a great. I song. love the record. Yeah. You know? And I told the Toby, look, man, you play bass and you sing. Don't do that. No. Nah. Be a front man. You were born to be that. He was born to. Oh, be Oh yeah. That. Look and at him now. Yeah, because I knew already back then that this guy will go to the stars. I, I knew it, and I told him that. Right. You will do great things. You will go fucking far, you know. You told me a couple of times, you, you told me last time we met that uh, he he would seek for you for advice, that he would talk to you and ask you about Every day. what what can I, uh, Every day. you know, perhaps it's about uh, his album, his mixing, his, uh, his singing. He, he seek for you for advice. What are, what are some things that you shared with him? Well, he called me every day and in the mornings usually. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm sleeping and I hear the phone like, Brrr. hello, hey Stolby here. 
Okay. What, what, what do you want to know today? So, <laughs> merchandise, record deals, publishing, gigs, appearances, everything. So I told him, look, man, you're, you're a front man, so skip the bass. That was the first thing. Right. Skip the bass. Yeah. And try to really think and feel, especially feel, what do you want to express with your music, you know? And I think already at that time he had this avantasia in his mind. But he told me that he wants Kiske. He wanted, to, he wanted him to be in the project. Yes, he told me that. So of course. I said, everybody wants Kiske. Do, <laughs> you you, know? do you know that? Did you hear that? This is something that really shocked me as a kid. And we were talking about Rob Rock earlier. Yeah. But uh, when you look at the, the credits on that album, uh, Kiske comes Ernie. out as Ernie. Ernie. What's the reason behind that, dude? It's Kiske's humor. It's his humor. He didn't I mean, want to be no. I mean, this credited has, or what happened? He, he, his humor is great. You know, you have to understand that. I mean, he's he okay. He knows who he is. Right. He knows exactly who good he is. Right. But he's humble guy. Mm -hmm. He's Christian. Right. 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 Heavy Christian. He was always telling me. Timo, was this? Sorry to interrupt you. Was was this like also during the Halloween times? Yes. Was did he was he also a, a Christian?